Pika Pika. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my Pokemon Breed and Diamond Let's Play. I'm Zaki. Alright guys, so in the last episode we have explored the route 209, and which means that we just gotten to Solacion Town. Now, fun fact, I had already done some things around here, but uh, um, my PC gave up on me, so I basically lost uh, the footage. So well, what I did was basically pick up the berries that were in there, I also spoke with most of the NPCs. And I think I'm just going to show you the ones that were the most interesting. So first of all, in this place, um, in this very place, uh, there's the Pokemon News Press. Basically. Um, what they're looking for is a Pokemon catcher, exactly, that, uh, um, well, it's like an, a report, it's like a news, it's like a journal, basically, and uh, they want us to bring us, uh, to bring him, a pun they want us to bring them a Ponita uh, before the end of the day, so if we happen to stumble upon a Ponita, I think I'm going to catch it. So, in any case, so this in town is also named Free of Worry and well other than that another thing important that you can check in here is the Pokemon Nursery so the Pokemon Nursery is basically is, well the place where you can uh, leave a Pokemon, some Pokemon of yours uh, to be taken care so exactly as you can see I'm just going to choose that I want to Leave Kaza and Zubat in there. Yes. And thanks to that, basically, while we're just going to explore the other parts of Sino, both Kaza and Zubat will level up steadily. Now, I do wonder if you can see them actually, but it doesn't, it doesn't really look like so. Now, in any case, if you talk with this lady, with the lady at the counter, um, well, basically she will tell you, well, you will be able to leave her uh, two Pokemon of yours. If instead, if instead you talk with the man outside, he will tell you if uh, the Pokemon that you left, the two Pokemon that you left, uh, um, get along well together. Your cousin and Zubat are doing just fine, the two prefer to play with other Pokemon more than with each other. That basically means that uh, you will not find an egg between them, because, well, they don't really spend time together. Anyway, there's also another guy here now. Are you a fan of the couple at the Pokemon Nursery like me? I got hold of something quite useful. It's the latest Pocket app from the Pocket Company. What's more, they developed it in collaboration with the Pokemon Nursery. Since you're a fellow fan of the Pokemon Nursery, I'm compelled to share this. And thanks to that, we got the Egg Monitor and Pocket Chap. The Egg Monitor app shows the Pokemon left at the Pokemon Nursery. So, of course, this is meant to check if a Pokemon, if uh, um, the two Pokemon that you left there have actually made an egg. Let's see. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, the I think that, well, I wouldn't know how exactly it works. But, well, there's no egg in there, so I'm going to assume that uh, that means uh, they don't really get along uh, nicely together. But, well, it's fine, it's fine. I wasn't really looking for that. But also, another thing that is important in here, I think that was the guy. Yes, exactly. So if you talk with this person, he will uh, give you another pocket app, a new, uh, another new pocket app. Which is the Pokemon History uh, Pocket App, or something like that. So, what that app will give you... Uh, okay, let me try to show you. Where is it? Pokemon Nursery. Okay, there we go. Uh, I already passed it. So, basically it shows you... Um, kind of a, like a chronicle, chronologo, chron chronological chronological order of the Pokemon you've obtained. Uh, while you while you were playing, so as you can see, of course, we started with uh, Tartrig and Bidoof, and they at certain point evolved into both a Bibarel and a Grotel. Um, what's interesting though is that uh, it shows here Kadabra because uh, if you remember, uh, not not too long ago, our Abra evolved into Kadabra while we were in the um, in the dark cave or something. 
Um, but it doesn't show that we have gotten an Abra. As you can see, it shows us that we had a matchup, that, well, we catch the matchup at a certain point, but it doesn't show us that we've uh, traded it for an Abra. But, in any case, let's continue. So yeah, I think that is the most important things to do in here. I mean, other than that, they are just going to tell you, you know, briefing is... Breathing in this refreshing gear, it even perks up Pokemon, that's why I'm out here. So yeah, basically they're just going to tell you how nice it is to live in here. Grodor is trying to push you, oh boy. So, well, in any case, so that was about it. That, that was um, um, most of what we needed to do here in Solisian Town. Now, though, another thing that you have to do in here before you leave is this one. So, if you go this way... Actually, first of all, let me check, because I'm pretty sure that uh, there are some hidden items in here. The interesting thing about Solacent Town is that it, it is very small, because if you actually go and think about it, uh, I think it has like uh, um, two houses that you can actually check. So yeah, it's very small, but it's still... Still, it's fairly cool. It's very cool that there are so there are more things than what you would expect from such a small city. So, there's a jar of honey in here. Now, let's take this path first. Okay, and that's the first house we're going to check out. So should I take it back? I guess the recent town has more than just one house. Is that that these two are kind of um, blocked off uh, by... Uh, by those by those fingers, by those fences. My son just loves those nearby ruins. If you don't mind, can you show him the Pokemon you catch in the ruins? Uh, sure, but where is him, though? Wait, so... Show him. My son just loves those nearby ruins. If you don't mind, can you show him the Pokemon you catch in the ruins? Alright, so I'm going to assume that the Pokemon you catch in the ruins is... Uh, um... Yeah, but I named him Shield though. Bronzor, yeah, there we go. I'm going to assume that uh, they're talking about uh, Bronzor, so yeah. Now, how do I get out of here? Okay, that's that's how you do it. Okay, I did not want to speak with you right now. Now, let's try again. This time, let's try and take a different path. There we go. So, there's another house in here. That uh, makes uh, the amount of houses that you can check out in uh, um, Solution Town up to 4. Your Pokemon has a naughty nature. Did you know that the Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? Yeah. There's always been lots of Pokemon in this area, even, even in the olden days. They say there were big Pokemon ranges around these parts. Interesting. So, so that's why there are so many po um, range, uh, rangers, ra Pokemon rangers, sorry, in here. Alright, so, uh, okay, that will just uh, um, make us go back, so, let's do it again, but this time we're going to take the, um, the farthest route, exactly, over these ledges, uh, right, yes, alright, so, once again, she was talking about, uh, um, a son of his uh, that is probably in the ruins. So well, let's see if uh, let's see if we happen to find them. So the Solacian ruins are it's actually very uh, it's fairly interesting for a reason. So as you can see, well, basically every four is made up uh, like that. So there are like uh, there's a straight way with uh, a set of stairs on either the left or the right side, and if you check uh, well. Two of them or three of them will lead you to just uh, a small rock in there that isn't very useful, it looks like. Whereas one of them will lead you to exactly the next floor. Now, what's interesting about uh, these little rocks uh, that you see is that uh, some of them will have uh, an, an item hidden in them. So it's always best to check every single one of, single one of them. Or if you, um, if you don't really, if you don't want to check every single one of them, you can use the pocket shop and uh, it will tell you. 
But also, also, another interesting thing about this place uh, are these uh, um, manuscripts. Uh, top... Uh, that's top, isn't it? Top... Pil... Pilo... Top pilot? No, it's not a P. Top low lover lover right a lower left top right okay top left top left lower left Okay, interesting. So basically, uh, okay, yeah, I'm pretty certain that is like the um, the map um, that you're supposed to take to reach the very last floor. So, actually, I'm going to write them down. Do I have anything to write on? Just because I'm fairly curious. So, this is basically written in Unknown, which is an interesting Pokemon that was introduced in the second generation in Pokemon Crystal. And basically they are Pokemon that, are, that, are, that look like letters, like the alphabetic uh, letters, the Latin alphabetic letters. So, in any case, so it is top right, lower left. Now, if this uh, mm, if these indications lead to the very last floor, uh, you can basically just go and um, <clears throat> and just uh, try several times until you get it right. You could do that as well, but since uh, I've actually just found out how to read them, I'm going to try. So, top right, top left. Top left again. Lower left. Okay, so top right, lower left, top right, left, top left, top left, lower left. So, top right is of course this set of stairs. <clears throat> and the next one would be lower left, so this way. Now, before we do that, as I was saying, uh, let's check also all these uh, small boulders. And also there is a trainer in here. Wait, that's probably his son, isn't it? There's something really weird about these ruins. That's why I like coming here, but then again, come to my house later. I'll give you a ball capsule so you can place stickers on it. Okay, so that's that's his son. Th that's her son, the son she was talking about. And she, he wants to see the Pokemon that you can find in here. So let's see, let's see. We still have to find a wild Pokemon in here. So, of course, the first one is lower left, yes, next one is lower right, but before going to lower right, no, sorry, top right, top right, let's check the boulders, as you can see there was an escape rope there, there is also a Pokemon, uh, <clears throat> a Pokemon battle, this place is teeming with unknown, there has to be some meaning to this, the truth can be found, I'll start by ser my search by battling you. Oh yeah, actually I think I remember now, I think I remember. That little kid there basically will give you some interesting uh, stickers uh, if, you found, uh, if you find the correct unknown announce. Alright, so... Uh, Geodude, we're going to use Water Gun for him. <clears throat> you do it again. Okay, apparently best if is kind of uh, kind of uh, sleepy. Still have to understand why why is he sleepy and what should I do different uh, to avoid that. All right, a bronzer. I'll be honest, I had completely forgotten about the fact that you can find a known announce in here. Unknowns, announce. I think it's unknown unknowns. Well. Right, we defeat the Carl. Search must continue. 
I give up, I'm not going to rack my brain over the meaning of this place. Alright, so the next one was top right, so let's go top left a second and check the boulder. No, it's empty. <clears throat> Alright, top right, exactly, that will lead us to the next one. So top left this time, but once again let's try lower right. Yeah, of course, you don't really have a choice there. Alright, so next one would be top left again to continue, but let's check... <clears throat> exactly. Let's check the boulder, so there's a big mushroom in here. Okay, this one is empty. Okay. And the last one would be lower left. So. Let's just check uh, these last two boulders. <clears throat> Very sorry. I have a sore throat today, apparently. And there we are. That is the very last uh, room. Oh, there we go. We finally found. <laughs> there we go. That's a D. A wild unknown and... Yeah, it's a D, isn't it? Alright, let's use Water Gun because I don't really want to knock him out instantly. I would like to catch him actually. And also, sorry while I drink some water. Alright, so let's use Water Gun again. and we're going to use a Pokeball, yeah. Let's just try a normal Pokeball. Okay, that's much better, yeah. There we go. We also caught an unknown. And that's a D. There we go. Because the Pokemon is shaped like ancient writing, it is a huge mystery whether written language or unknown came first. True. Interesting. Would you like to give unknown a nickname? No. And there we go. Alright, so. Let's check the Pokeballs in here. So there's a Not the Incense. A Mind Plate. There is a text engraved in the back of the Obtained Plate. The power of the defeated giants infuses this plate. The mine plate, interesting. You found a nugget. And what's next? A uh, rare candy. That's good, that's very good. Okay, and let's check these writings now. Oh boy, alright, so. Uh, free and. Free and. Free and, okay, friend. <clears throat> oh boy. Ah, I struggle to understand what that. Okay, wait, wait a second. Only. Oh, lives. So, Frenzoip. Frenzoip. No, that can be, right? Friend, friend. All livers. Li all lives. Touch. Wait, that's not an O. That's an H. So, friend. So, friend. Friendship. Friendship. All lives. Touch. Other. All lives. Touch. Other. Lives lives to create something a new. No, that can be. Is it a new to create something a new and alive? Alright, so, friendship, 
All lives touch All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. That's very cool. That's actually very cool. Alright, so let's continue. Um, so yeah, we have to go back now. I think I kind of remember where to go. Okay, I take it back <laughs> instantly. That's probably where we have, yeah, we had to go there. There we go. Okay, and we're out. And we have the unknown that we needed also. So, now, something interesting about this place is that, as you can see, there is like another entrance up there. Up there. Do you see it? But I never quite understood how to get there, to be honest. I'm not even joking. I never, I never understood how. So, well, in any case, before continuing, as, as I've said, I'm going to check out that house from before where supposedly the kid that we talked to will be right now. There he is. I'm researching unknown. Unknown has a lot of different forms. Fascinating, isn't it? I'd love for you to show me unknown if, you have, if you've got any. Yes. There he is. Whoa, I've never seen that form of non unknown before. Please take this bull capsule as my thanks. Alright, so we got a new ball capsule. You find a different form? Okay, so yeah, exactly. You basically just have to bring him every single letter that unknown can give us. And um, it will give us a different uh, kind of ball capsule. Exactly. So, but actually, let's check this ball capsule. It's been a while. I would like to create a new one. Uh, alright, is this the one that was given for us? No. Did we get like... Did he say that we got like a bowl capsule or something? Sky sticker. Stone sticker. Ethereal, ethereal sticker. Sinister. That's a song sticker. Laura sticker. Wait, did we get a sticker or like a ball capsule or something? Toggle 2D and 3D. The present sticker is... No, no, alright. <laughs> Wait. Uh, damn it, I didn't quite check what, what, we, uh, what we obtained there. Damn it. <laughs> but it's fine though. Alright, so that was it. Well, that was actually fairly fun. Uh, well, I guess we're ready to continue past the Solation Town, but first things first, let me put a noun in the boxer.